Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This Ford Escape was brought in as a customer says it runs rough after he replaced some parts. The technician said this vehicle surprisingly drove to the shop like this, and he found that the customer just replaced the throttle body and must have left a rag in the intake when they installed it. And I'd say they left a rag behind it when they put the new one on and well, the rest is history. This is a fully built 4.6 liter engine out of a Ford Mustang. The customer did not top up the engine oil before an autocross event, and with low oil level and excessive RPM, it caused all of this carnage in the engine. Upon further teardown, the shop found that the engine block is unusable, as a connecting rod smacked the block and formed a crack on the main oil galley casting. And this customer brought in their truck as they said their engine is making a loud ticking noise, ever since the shop repaired it a week prior. This dealership offers a free car wash for all customers, but unfortunately, the automatic car wash will now be out of service, as this customer drove through the car wash the wrong way twice, which resulted in breaking the automatic car wash and damaging their Jeep. Customer states they were just driving along and then their engine randomly shut off. The mechanic said he was not told by the customer on what exactly happened, but he did find the engine to be seized, the rack and pinion to be cracked, and damage to the transmission, subframe, and a whole lot more. And this customer had their car towed in as he said him and a friend can't get his brake caliper back on, and he thinks that he needs longer wheel studs to put his wheels back on. Customer states they have a metal rattling noise in the rear of their vehicle. Customer states battery voltage message appearing on dash. When this customer brought in their Ford Focus for service, the technician noticed it had quite the claymore on the steering wheel. And this customer had just brought in their car for an oil change. The shop told the customer that they had a broken trailing arm and very worn tires. The customer declined repairs, so the service manager notified the police and they pulled her over as soon as she left the dealership. When this customer brought in their truck to get new brakes installed, the technician also noticed that the customer had just recently installed a new starter, and he had cut out a little piece of the frame to make it fit. Long story short, this customer declined to get his rear brakes fixed, as he said he's already been driving like this for 3,000 miles. And this customer brought in their F-150 as they tried to fix their heated seat with speaker wire, but it still doesn't work. The technician undid all this customer's wiring and replaced the TED, which is the thermal electric device which fixed the issue. Grandma's been missing her dustpan for a while now, boys. It's terrible. Oh, we found it. <clears throat> Pappy's done made him a f***ing horn cover. That winter. The person driving in this vehicle was surprised to see this damaged box truck still driving down the highway in this condition. You can submit clips that you personally took on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already.